If you want to be able to protect your workbook from prying eyes, in other words, if they don't have the password, they can't open the workbook, it's really simple. There's two ways you can apply a password to the workbook. One way is coming up here, clicking on the File tab, going down to Info, and then clicking on Protect Workbook. And there it is, Encrypt with Password. Click on it, go ahead and type in your password, hit Enter. Type it in again to confirm it, hit Enter, and there it is. It's now protected. Of course, you need to save it, so it applies the password. When you click Save, takes me out of the backstage area to the front view here or front stage the worksheet and then let's take it for a test drive I'm going to go ahead and close out of the inner X leaving my Excel program open clicking on the file tab going down to my recent workbook there it is click on it need the password let's go ahead and type in hi hit enter I now have full access if I want to remove the password click on the file tab again click on protect workbook go back and click on encrypt with password of course, there's your password. Go ahead and delete it. Click okie dokie. Be sure to save your work and you're back to square one. The other way to do it that gives us a couple more options, not only a password to open, but also a password to modify. Click on the File tab. Go down to Save As. Click on the Tools drop-down arrow. Go to General Options. You got the password to open. Just go ahead and type it in again. You also have the password to modify, and you can use one or the other or both. So they have to have a password to open. Once it opens, they can either do a read-only where they can't make any changes. Well, they can, but they just can't save it and overwrite the original document. Or if they have the password to modify it, then they can go ahead and make all the changes and overwrite the original document. Let's go ahead and just do a password to modify because we've already seen the password to open, and then we'll combine both. So let's do hi, hit enter, type it in to confirm it, click OK and then be sure to save it because we want to overwrite the existing file with the updated uh, password to modify the workbook. Say yes. Let's close out of it. Click on the File tab to go to the recent file. Click on it. OK. It says if you want to have write access or make changes to the document, you got to know the password. If not, read only. That's the best you can do. Up at the top, you've got the read only in the title bar, so if I make any changes here, I can make them, but when I click Save, it gives me a warning. It says, look, you're in read only. The best you can do is save it as a copy. So you click OK, and it forces you to save it as a copy or another file name. So you don't overwrite the original file name, okay? Click Cancel. Now if I want to go back and actually have access so I can make changes, then of course close out. Don't save. File. Open that file back up, and then type in your password, hit Enter. It's no longer in read-only mode up in the title bar. Make your changes, save it, like, here we go, 3, enter, click save, no problem. Let me go ahead and undo that. Now, if you wanted a combination of both to see what that looks like, again, file, save as, tools to general options, and let's do high up here. I can have, well, it's not wise to have the same password for to open and modify, but in any case, I'm going to keep it simple. Then click OK. And then go ahead and type it in again to confirm it. Click Save. Yes, we want to update that and override it. Close out. File to open back up the uh, file. So we need a password to open. Hi, Enter. Now, if we want to make any changes, then we have to have the password. Otherwise, we can only read uh, the workbook. Well, we've got the password there. Hit Enter, and there we go. Now, the other option that you saw, well, there's two others. Um, one of the two we'll cover in the next training video, but File to save as, tools, general options, let me delete both of those, is the read only recommended? You check that and it says, sure, you can still access the um, file without a password because I deleted the passwords, but we recommend that you only read it. Don't touch it. Yeah, like that's going to happen, but in any case, go ahead and click OK, save it to update it, close out, file to open it, there we go. Hey, this should only be as read-only. Please don't make changes. And then it says, do you want to open up as read-only? Yes or no? If I say no, hey, I can go ahead and make changes and really mess up your original document here. I don't have to listen to the uh, suggestion, as it were. But for people you trust, if it's just a flag to saying, hey, please uh, don't make changes, just view it, then that's okay. In case if one of those rare circumstances come up that you don't want to keep them from making changes, it's nice to have that flag that they can go ahead and bypass. And then, of course, we need to remove it and check it. And there you go. We're back to where we started. No passwords or suggestions to read only.
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.